Say savage, say savage, your boy, Shino Metro was popping. Today we are back, we rocking. If you are tuning in, go ahead hit that like button if you rocking. And today we're about to be talking about some Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. Last time, we was really, really in the mix when we were talking about his new outfit. Obviously, we did two videos, we did some reels. Obviously, I'll give you guys my personal thoughts and personal opinions. I know I call them on facts, but let's be real. That boy is dripping in his facts. I don't want to hear about your favorite anime. Nobody care about none of that shit right now. Y'all keep talking about that shit. Nobody cares. Keep that shit, say that shit for your mama. Today we're gonna be talking about the glow up of Team 7 Trio. Obviously, Mitsuki was a part of this, so like, we still need to know what he's gonna look like. We don't know his outfit per se, but we have an idea what his body type may be because obviously, we saw his brother early on in the series and we saw Mitsuki clone, you know what I'm saying? We saw him older, but we don't know if the Mitsuki that we got gonna take a different route. He might get long hair or something. Everybody wanted Sarda to get the long hair, but he might get long hair. But what we do got, we got Kawaki, Sarda, and the GOAT. Boruto. Yes, young ghost Uzumaki. Yes, the young god slayer. I'm talking about over 9,000 whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. You guys do not understand. Y'all really do not understand. This man came from the whiny little snot nosed brat, the booty face, the big cheeks, to the young Pippin dripping. So now I'm about to give you guys my full breakdown on all these outfits, all these characters. I want you guys to give me your personal thoughts and personal opinions on all these outfits and all these characters. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you find any other content on the channel that you enjoy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, let's get it. All right, so straight out the back, Kawagi shit, all right? I like Kawagi to the most extent. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. We already knew everything about Kawagi's outfit because let's be real. When Kawagi was first introduced, we had Boruto in the corner looking like a bum, looking like some scum. You know, he was beat to a pulp. All his shit was tattered, scarred, and bruised. You real talk. Y'all probably thinking I'm talking too fast or maybe I'm on another spectrum, but real talk, he was tattered, bruised, and scarred. Look at his outfit. Look at Kawaki. Kawaki would look like he was taken care of. He was clean. It was like, God damn, you remember when Kawaki was first introduced and he had them dry ass lips? Like, think about them dry ass lips and put that on Boruto as an outfit, bro. That's literally what Kawaki was trying to portray to Boruto in the future. Like, this is you. This is me now, but this is going to be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at me. Like, you know, I'm clean. I'm fresh now. You look all dirty. You remember when I came to you looking like that? The rules have been reversed. But that's kind of fucked up. Because let's be real. The first people to introduce Kawaki to a bath was probably not to them let, let, let's be real you know what i'm saying but overall you know his outfit is really dope i do i do like how they changed it a bit you know they didn't kept it how like bougie was before it was kind of like stuck up in this like you know like he was on some biker boy jacket even like some hot like you know it kind of they kind of chilled it out a little bit you know they kind of made a little simmer you know what i'm saying they, they, they added a little uh, a smaller spice and like i felt like why was he so draped out and boruto was so regular degular like that didn't make no sense i mean it said don't make sense but it do make sense because obviously boruto is like rogue he's poor he's on the run he ain't got no bread but guess what he got some bread now i don't know where he got his outfit from but he is drippington but real talk kawaki got the sauce bro because if you guys remember all the like car members had like these roman numerals all over their body like basically showing their ranking in the system you know what i'm saying it's kind of funny that kawaki had a ranking when he was just basically the vessel he should have been like the main thing but basically he changed that into a dagger you know like ikimoto was like you know what you know, we're gonna, we gonna just gonna put a dagger in. He wanted to be NBA young boy so bad. Like, I, I'm being dead ass. Like, he, he literally has a dagger on his eye. Now, let's talk about the amazing Sarda. Honestly, bro, I thought Sarda gonna come back and end up looking like Sakura. Like, don't get it twisted. I like Sakura to a degree. Let's, let's not say I love Sakura. But we don't say I like her to a degree. But I love Sarda. I love Sarda. Sarda's awesome. Sarda has really been putting on for her fucking family. She's been showing what she can do for her village. As well as the dead descendants. R.I.P. to the Uchiha. Real talk, my brother Itachi. You know what I'm saying? Itachi, Itachi, Itachi. She really stepped up to the plate. Everybody thought she was going to come back on some regular degla shit. Like, no. She came back on some Bayonetta sweater better looking shit, bro. Like, she got that B-Believer cut, bro. You don't understand. She got edges now. Bro, she got the better glasses. Look at her frame. She was like, you know what? These are Ray-Bans, you know? I'm about to go get the Dolce Cabanas, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get the Chanel glasses on your ass. Like, that ass, she didn't come back on some regular tees. It was like more of a, like a high class like rebellious look like even though we haven't got the full sleekness of her outfit bro you can tell from what you guys have drawn and ba the base is around the coat like if you look at the choke very well and like all the other shit that shows on the feet you can tell like she's already on some like sash but like class shit like imagine she's gonna be able to have way more mobility than ever everybody's talking about how she's gonna fight with the crop top on but that's probably the whole purpose of the jacket she probably put the jacket on zip it up that way you know she doesn't have any power with no slips or nothing like that and then it just goes into fighting you know what I'm and hey, don't think I forgot. I'm on a lot of y'all asses because y'all was really out here in the fucking comment section trying to bash her and talk about this shit was mid, this shit was pool, yada yada this, yada yada that. I had to make a whole people hate Sarda video. Like, wait, what the fuck? People hate Sarda's outfit? People hate Sarda's new outfit? Like, 
I was getting attacked. You guys were upset talking about her hair is too short. Like, my boy, her hair is too short. Do you see this new Mangekyo she got, bro? What, what, what you talking about? I'm talking about these combat abilities, bro. Look at her, bro. She's a ninja. Her hair's not supposed to be long. She's really need to fight. Somebody gonna grab her shit and start slinging her around. Did y'all see what happened to Sakura? Sakura got beat to a pulp like that, like a rag doll. Nigga was slinging her around like a raggedy and doll. Why would you want to repeat it? This is Uchiha, bro. She's about to fight way smarter. She's using her intellect. I'm sorry. I know hair is beautiful to some people, but at the end of the day, hair in a fight can be used as a weapon, bro. It can be used as something to get you fucked up. That's like having a hoodie on in a fight. And nigga grab your hoodie and just start slinging you around like, let go of my hoodie, bro. Let go of my hoodie. Like, why would she do that to herself? All y'all in the comment section bugging. I don't understand what's wrong with y'all with that one. I, I still feel a personal vendetta towards you guys. That I, I'm still, I still see y'all. I still know who you are. So if you're in the comment section right now, you're like, oh, Sarda, Sarda's glow up with like, yeah, mm hmm. No, I'm on your ass. I'm roasting you, bro. You smell like grits. Ugly. And last but not least, we got Batman with the two utility belts coming in with the fucking cape. I'm talking about he got the fucking Konoha symbol on one side. He got Sarda's Mangekyo emblem on the other side. You know what I'm saying? He got his sword in the fucking cut he got the pink imprint in the back you know what i'm saying he trenched out he got the collar pop obviously he got the necklace he got the michael jackson glove by the pimp hand smack a bitch i'm talking about shadori her heart bro yes bro i'm talking about he walks in the room he's going to shadori every girl's heart literally y'all looking at me like oh man this man she knows out his mind he is bugging no you bugging you don't even understand what's about to go down bro he's about to literally go in there get your favorite konoichi sweet talk her ease her out of everything and then slide her to another dimension how are you going to stop that you can't stop somebody that can open doors to another dimension how would you stop a nigga going after your girl that could just pop up in your room while you sleep and then slide her out under your nose like that bro he's going to be able to sauce walk all the poon poon to him but that aside bro his ability is going to be nuts obviously he's going to be studying with sasuke Look at it. His feats are going to be crazy. He already has the ability to absorb ninjutsu. You know what I'm saying? So that's off the bat rip. Like, then this man got compression Rasengan's. Not to mention he created his own style of compression Rasengan. Then we see Momoshiki come create a version of it. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like two versions of that shit. So it's like he's going to be using that. Plus, he has this ability with the Ethereal Blaze that we haven't seen pop out yet. Because, you know, he still has Momoshiki and Kenshiki's ability. He has two Utsutsuki abilities versus we only know of the Inshiki abilities. You know, I mean, the Ishiki abilities. You know? Know what I'm saying so it's gonna be like what the fuck is this man capable of he's really gonna walk in and be just like hey bro like y'all really wanted to do this but let's go and it's kind of crazy because when you go against somebody like Daemon with those type of abilities how do you really fight him you know what I'm saying and that's really funny because Boruto doesn't have any killing intent not for real He's only put in this situation because of what happened with Omnipotence, right? So even though he's going to have all these crazy feats, he's going to have all this training with Sasuke, he got the drip now. You know, he's going to go in there and he, when he gets to ready to fight Daemon, Daemon's going to be able to get whapped up because Boruto is going to have play for intent. He's going to be with the intent of like just being his friend or laughing because he already knows what, how Daemon works, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess to a degree, right? We're not going to say all the way. Fully, it's fully understood. I know we know the degree of his ability, but Boruto's gonna get it because Boruto doesn't want to kill him. So it's like that's that's how this gonna go. But then he gonna have to walk up down on Cool. Then he gonna have to walk down on Kawaki. Either you know, she, I don't even think she's really gonna fuck with that man. To be honest, I think she's gonna be infatuated, bro. Cause like look at him. Why wouldn't she? She'd be a dumb bitch. Anyways, you about to take your waifu. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Cut on notifications if you guys enjoy anything. Uh, like I said, and with that being said, I'm going to get out and drop content tomorrow. Until next time, see you guys later.